If you are entering the mobile food industry, mastering this one concept might be the most important key to your success. Hi, I'm Justin Prestige, owner of Custom Trailer Pros, where we provide custom-built food trailers. And today we're going to talk about plates per minute. How quickly can you serve your food once it has been ordered? And after we talk about it a little bit, we'll go chat with the operators at 451 Pizza and take a look at their trailer to see what they've done to maximize their efficiency. Every day, my team at our dealership talks with food entrepreneurs from all over the country who have a passion for creating great food, and they are looking to turn that passion into a business. My dealership was built around these customers because we love to partner with them and help them realize their dreams. We don't just provide a product. We do all we can to help our customers be as successful as possible. A big part of that success is understanding that creating great food is only the beginning of the process. There are many other things that must be done correctly, but being able to serve a lot of food in a short amount of time might be the most important. And that's what we call plates per minute. If every order takes five minutes to fulfill, you'll never make enough money to survive in a mobile environment. But if you can create a system that helps you really maximize your place per minute, you're on your way to creating a successful mobile food business. With that in mind, here are four keys to maximizing your plates per minute. One, create a workable menu. A lot of our customers want to create an extensive menu with the idea that it will attract, attract a wide variety of customers. Oftentimes, it can be more advantageous to pare the menu down to what you specialize in and build around that. This will reduce your prep time, reduce your materials, and you'll be able to prep a lot more food ahead of time because you know what most of your orders will be based around. This also means you'll be able to plate quicker, which will make your customers a lot happier. Lastly, keep in mind, the longer the menu is, the longer it will take people to get their order into you. And that can really add up. Number two on our list is create an efficient workflow. When you think about workstations in your food trailer, they should be arranged in a specific order that helps maintain clear, efficient workflow. If there is one person taking orders and someone else who does all the cooking, they should be crossing paths as little as possible. The person at the window should be able to fulfill quick orders that don't require any cooking, like handing out drinks or chips, and the person cooking should have access to everything they need without crossing into the serving area. And ideally, each meal would finish plating near the serving window so that it is ready to be handed out right away. But hey, if you need help with your design, our lead designer was an executive chef for 15 years, so we would be happy to help you think through this process. Number three, get the right equipment. Once you understand your menu and your workflow, getting the proper equipment that will allow you to execute your menu efficiently is key. Of course, this includes main pieces like refrigerators and cooking equipment, but it also is important to think through the smaller items like warmers and storage space. Again, every setup is unique and we would be happy to help you explore your options here. And number four, prep what you can ahead of time. We know you want your food to be fresh and delicious when your customers get it. We want that too. But typically speaking, there are elements of every meal that can be prepped and ready to go before you open up. Exactly what you prep, how you prep it, and how you store it is unique to each setup, but any prep you do ahead of time will save you time on the back end. For example, we have a customer who has a tater tot trailer. You can order a variety of toppings for your tots, including cheese, bacon, chives, and a lot more. All the toppings are prepared before they open up, and the person cooking always stays a few orders ahead with the tater tots. So when an order comes in for a large tater tots with cheese and bacon, that plate can be assembled and handed to the customer in under 30 seconds, fresh, hot, and delicious. If they go to a large festival and are busy for four hours straight, that's a lot of plates served, a lot of happy customers, and they've made a lot of money. Not to mention, people will always gravitate to a faster moving line, so they will attract a lot of customers. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. 
we've spent some time talking about maximizing your plates per minute. So let's take a look at an actual food trailer to see how they do, and I'm going to see if I can get a piece of pizza. I am here with Adrian and Jessica, operators of 451 Pizza, and today, guys, we've been talking about efficiency, how to serve food quickly once it's been ordered. And I wanted to show your guys' pizza truck because I know that you guys are masters of efficiency. <laughs> so, Jessica, a lot of times you're here taking the yep. orders, yep. and then once an order comes in, you hand it off to Adrian. Adrian, walk us through the stations of your truck and tell us how it all plays out. Okay, so typically once we once I get an order from the window, we'll put the ticket up here on the ticket wheel and the pizza making process has begun. We have dough preset up here. It has to proof out room temperature for a prior amount of time so that it gets up to the right temperature and proofs out like we're looking for. We pull that, run it through the roller here, and that'll create a nice consistent even surface for us to start with and then we bring it to the paddle and stretch it out the rest of the way to 14 inches. After we stretch it out to 14 inches, we take our fresh prepared everyday toppings, fill the pizza up for whatever the ticket says, and get it into the pizza oven down here. Now these ovens are cranking out at 750 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, and so they're just blasting it out. I can finish a pizza in three minutes and 15 seconds every every pizza oven so it's just non-stop every minute and a half minute and three quarters it's, we got a pie coming out this is where we finish it off here on the prep station on service times where you're serving up slices do you make pizza ahead of time and then just reheat it once it's ordered um we don't necessarily reheat we keep things fresh and usually there's a line of 20 40 people deep when you're doing that high volume type of service so we have this warming rack above the pizza ovens here that keep the pizza at 165 degrees. And so we have a nice hot temperature that we're just grabbing slices, handing them out the window. And then all we're really having to focus on on the pizza ovens is what pizza we're missing on the racks and then we're just keeping that filled. So when there's a line of 40 people, we can usually have them order at one window and by the time they come down here, they're grabbing their individual slices ready to go. 